In today's society, sexual assault is a serious problem in the United States, especially on college campuses. According to the National Sexual Violence Center, one in five women and one in 16 men are sexual assaulted while in college, and 63% of sexual assaults are not reported. Before colleges can be successful in preventing sexual assault on their campuses, we must determine who is responsible for implementing education on sexual assault into the heads of teenagers and how the situation should be handled. We asked IU students what they thought. I think IU already does like a good job promoting awareness and we like take a class before even getting here, which is really good and we get a skit and everything. But I think that you can never have too much awareness. So I think that it's all of our jobs um, as students and the staff and just the whole culture of IU to promote um, a safe environment. And so it's up to all of us to like, if we see something that's not quite right, to fix it and to say something and to speak up so that we all like have each other's backs and promote a safe environment. Um, well, I feel like IU has already done a very good job of driving home the point of the importance of preve preventing it. Um, so I feel like at this point in time, maybe the president or someone should issue a statement to kind of bring the issue to light even more and just really drive home the point. Sexual assault is not really in the hands of Indiana University because um, I think that the people who sexually assault others have just like learned this throughout like their life and their childhood and they're just like really like their mind is just messed up and like nothing that anyone says or does is going to stop them from sexually assaulting someone. I believe Indiana should start a sexual assault program that's mandatory for all freshmen since most of the sexual assaults happen inside the dorms and this just helps teach the guys and the girls who are freshmen that they shouldn't be sexually assaulting people and it helps make Indiana a safer place for everyone to want to come to. Since fraternity life on college campuses have had many issues on the causations of sexual assault, we asked fraternity president Austin Hannon what his fraternity's policies and rules on sexual assault are. So sexual assault is obviously a predominant issue here both in the um, college campuses, um, not just necessarily inside Greek life, but it is our responsibility as a Greek organization to make sure all the people inside of our organization are informed on these issues and can be best prepared to avoid these issues or be predominantly not involved inside these types of issues. So some things that we do here at Alpha Epsilon Pi is we do follow up classes that the school has. The school makes every single freshman take a sexual assault class. We do those follow up classes to make sure that our members are continuously educated, not just educated right when they come to college. And once they've experienced real life firsthand how when you're in a social setting and when you're in an environment that you can then change and do different things based on the social setting you're in. So we promote it through education, we promote it through action, we sit here and we make sure every single brother has sober monitors, we make sure every single woman has sober monitors when she's here, and that they have the ability to interact with somebody if they ever feel uncomfortable or in any situation like that and they can be notified. And it's basically just the more knowledge you have, the better prepared they can be. And we like to do that in Greek life and make sure that everything is stable and prepared. Indiana University wants all of its students to feel safe on campus, but almost two in 10 women have experienced sexual assault on the campus. In the same survey conducted at IU, 33% of undergraduate women said they feel unsafe on IU's campus. We asked IU students if they feel safe on campus at night alone. When I'm alone walking on campus, I definitely probably don't feel that safe. And my mom always calls me and when I'm like walking, she tells me like to never walk alone or always have a walking buddy or let her know so that um, in case anything happens, you just don't know when you're on a campus this size, anything can happen. Especially being a girl, you hear so many stories and it just kind of freaks me out. So it's not like anything has happened necessarily, but you just never know and I don't necessarily feel the safest if I was walking alone at night. I definitely feel safe um, on IU's campus alone at night. I oftentimes walk to and from classes or studying late at night by myself and feel perfectly safe. Um, when I'm walking home alone at night, I usually sprint home because I'm scared someone's going to jump out of the bushes. According to Campus Safety Magazine, at least 50% of college student sexual assaults are associated with alcohol. Last question we asked IU students was, do you think alcohol consumption has a strong correlation with sexual assault? Definitely. I feel like 
when men or women drink, it can kind of cloud their judgment and lead to some decisions that probably aren't the right thing to do. I believe alcohol has a major impact on sexual assault, specifically for the guys, because once guys get drunk, they're more likely to start looking at a girl in a different way and how they would view them without the alcohol in their system. So I believe that goes a long way towards why most sexual assaults happen. Without a doubt, I think that alcohol consumption plays a huge role in sexual assault and especially underage drinking where people don't know their limits. They think they can have more than they actually can and then next thing you know they're not completely aware of their actions and they also kind of use it as a um, excuse for doing things. And so I think that um, they definitely go hand in hand and if we limit like and have a safer alcohol policy then I think that that will help lower sexual assault rates. Many individuals can be saved from mental and physical harm. Not just any and university students should be concerned with this issue. Sexual assault happens worldwide and it could happen to anyone. On the IU website, there are different resources to get help, including hotlines and safety tips. If you or someone you know is experiencing or has experienced sexual assault and needs someone to talk to, call IU Sexual Assault Crisis Service Line at 812-855-5711.